Hey loves! So I'm back with a requested video today. Um, my sweet friend here on YouTube, um, she goes by Lady Punk, asked me to do this Nancy Ajram look and I, um, she, Nancy Ajram is beautiful, so I was flattered and really excited to do this. It's always more fun to do a video when it's for someone. Um, so I've already done my face. I used, um, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer to show you guys what I meant when I said that it was buildable. It's definitely not a full, full coverage, but it is um, the kind of coverage I like, and it's definitely more than what you would think of when you think of a tinted moisturizer. So that's on my face. In terms of what I used on my cheeks, I started out with NARS Laguna as a highlight, as a contour, uh, trying to focus sort of on the backs of my cheek, not bringing it in um, up close, sort of around um, the front of my cheeks like I usually do just because that's what has it in the music video and then I use um, Benefit High Beam as a highlight she has a lot of glowing sort of vibrant uh, skin so I wanted something a little bit more dewy that's that's glowy and not just shimmery so I and then for my blush um, I wanted something sort of peachy toned I find that with Mediterranean olive toned skins uh, peachy tones look amazing so what I did use um, my favorite which is my um, bad girl Riri blush from the Mac uh, Rihanna collection uh, again bring that color sort of in the backs of the cheeks I start obviously on the on the apples but bringing it sort of in the backs of the cheek um, more intensified the way that Nancy does it so yeah uh, <laughs> that's that base already set and we'll move on and do some eyes and lips together and yeah so I've already primed my eyes oh, I'm stuck. I've already primed my eyes with my primer potion uh, because we are going to go with a neutral all over the eye and I'm using my Ilamasca reflection palette um, and I'm going to use this lighter shade um, all over the lid I'm still on the hunt for a really nice um, sort of not shimmery beige um, for my own personal use she has a lot of shimmer on her eyes so this works really well and so but for me I still I need like a nice matte neutral eyeshadow which is a lot harder than you would think for some reason So once you've packed that color on to both the eyes, it is a neutral color, so I don't shouldn't have to blend for too long. We're gonna go in with just any brown. I'm using uh, Cacao by Makeup Store, so just this guy. But any brown you have on a big fluffy brush, we want to define the crease a little bit, but not too intensely. It is still pretty soft up on that crease, so I'm just gonna take it and blend it around. Um, and this is a look that she wears in her uh, Fiahagat. Fihaga, Fihagat, um, a music video, it's in the title, which you guys should go uh, check out if you haven't watched it. I'll try to find a link and put it in the description box. I actually hadn't heard the song of hers. I obviously knew who she was and I'd heard a lot of her music, but this wasn't one of the songs that um, I had heard from her. We're going to try to concentrate the color a little bit more on the outside corner. I'm going to take another color and really um, darken it up, but even with this one, you can lay it on a little bit thicker on the outside corner. What was I saying? I talk too much. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a beautiful music video. It was interesting as a music video, though, because I had to sort of stop and take still shots so I could look at them and try to figure out what she had on her face, um, which was really fun. It's actually become a fun game of mine to just try to figure out what... Anytime I'm watching TV or um, sort of I see an ad, like a print ad or something, I was like stand there, sit there for a minute a lot of the time and like try to figure out what the um, artists or, ma or uh, <laughs> models or actors have on their face. I actually got yelled at by Caitlin the other day. She's like, you're driving me crazy. I can't watch a show anymore without looking at their makeup. <laughs> okay, and then with more of a pinky sort of um, brown, this one is Sophisticated by Makeup Store on a two, clean 2 on 7. I'm going to take that just on that outer corner to intensify it. Um, and then we're just going to blend and blend and blend away. Oh, I do have one thing that I wanted to ask of you. So, um, pour mes abonnés françaises, pouvez-vous, s'il vous plaît, me laisser des commentaires, um, si vous voulez, <laughs> en français. Uh, J'ai vraiment, vraiment, vraiment besoin de pratiquer la langue et uh, vous m'aiderez beaucoup, beaucoup. Donc, s'il vous plaît, si, si vous voulez, uh, laissez-moi des commentaires et soyez patiente avec moi. 
car ma langue a, a besoin un peu de pratique. Donc merci. And for those of you that don't speak French, oh, I do need to practice my language. So I just, if anyone does speak French or wants to help me out, by leaving comments in French below, um, that way I can keep practicing. That would be awesome. So you're just gonna keep blending. Um, no secret to it. There is that. It's sort of like, I found it to be a little bit like a smoky eye, but totally wearable. So I don't know what I've called this complete video yet, but I feel like it's a wearable, smoky, Arab eye. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever that means. Okay, so that's that. From what I can tell from the pictures that I have, she leaves her under eye area uh, pretty sort of blank. Um, I just don't want to leave it completely white, so I'm going to take whatever's left on uh, the blending brush I just used, or the 217 I just used with that pink, and just really softly and gently run it underneath. Um, I know that too much sort of uh, movement or like pressing or, or rubbing underneath your eyes is supposed to, um, or I've heard, increase the like fine lines you get there. So obviously, don't poke yourself in the eye. Um, be gentle so that you're not really aggravating that area because it is super sensitive. And I mean, I'm going to still put makeup underneath my eyes. It's not going to stop me. I just, I'll be gentle with myself <laughs> and use a good eye cream. Um, so that's it. I'm not going to use anything else on top of the eyes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a black pencil. So she doesn't have a winged liner, but she has a little bit of, um, like some, some, what I think is like a black pencil just up top, um, sort of thicker on the outside corner. Um, so I'm going to take, I have a Smolder by MAC, but any black pencil that you have and just um, gently line that uh, upper lash line, I don't know, this part of your eye. Okay, nothing too intense, um, but just enough to give it a little bit of definition. So I did not realize how difficult it is to use a pencil um, like as an eyeliner if you haven't in a long time. Uh, so we had a couple technical difficulties, I think we're there. Uh, I did, so I lined them, um, and then I lined my inner waterline, my upper waterline, and I added some mascara. I just used my They're Real by Benefit. Um, and then obviously we put on a red lip. I'm using uh, Chanel's 99 in Pirate, which is just this guy. Um, I talked about it in my Crazy About Lipstick tag that I can link down below if you haven't seen it. And then on top I just used a clear uh, lip gloss from MAC. You can use any clear lip gloss you have. Also, um, Elizabeth Arden's 8 Hour Cream, while it does a lot of other amazing uh, moisturizing, cuts and burns, that kind of um, prevention. It also uh, works great as a clear uh, lip gloss or what have you. So if you don't have a lot of different lip glosses, here's an easy way to um, to get her done. Uh, I have realized when I go back to edit my videos that I get so excited sometimes. I ramble and I say sentences that don't make sense or like I mix uh, sayings. I, I hope you guys get it. We're just all in this together. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you uh, found it fun, useful, easy. I'm pretty sure you guys can recreate it yourselves. It, it's definitely not too tough. Take a minute with that liner if you're not used to it. Skip it all together. It's definitely not a must. Um, but yeah, that's a look. Let me know if you have any other request, requests, uh, looks, reviews, whatever, what have you, down in that comment section. And let me just leave you with my three points of positivity for the day. So the first has definitely got to be the fact that I discovered this week that my amazing friend, amazing, talent, talented, <laughs> uh, brilliant, sweet, supportive friend, Lydia, has a YouTube channel. Never told me about it. So part of me wants to be mad at her, but then the other part of me, as soon as I started watching the videos, I just couldn't help it. I will definitely link that down below. Please go check it out. Uh, she and her best friend, Anka, are amazing. They're so adorable. They're so sweet. They talk to you about sort of books, and uh, that's the, the main crux of the channel. There's some tags, some like just talking videos, some vlogs. 
go check her out. Amazing. It was such a sweet and amazing discovery and just made me so happy. And I sat in like wa in one sitting, watched all the videos. It was it was awesome. So I love you. Thank you for those amazing videos. Um, they're perfect. I hope you guys all check them out. <laughs> the second point of positivity, the second thing that's making me grateful is um, in sort of like a busy, stressful week, I decided to take an hour out for myself and take myself out to dinner. Uh, went to one of my favorite places and just hung out with a good book, ordered, got dessert, like it's just a really qu quiet, nice dinner out, um, which was lovely. And then the third thing is another song for you guys. I will link it down below. It's in French. It's by uh, Stromae who, if you haven't, if you're not sure about the name, the one song of his that you probably have heard is La Rondance. He does like sort of dance hall kind of um, techno music, but there's a lot of substance to his lyrics. So I'll link both like the official music video that's really cool and nice to watch, as well as like he does a like Le Leçon de Stromae, so like he sort of talks you through a little bit of his music in like a funny way. That one has a lyric, so for those of you that don't speak French, I'll link both so you can watch the music video and then sort of understand what he's saying if you don't speak the language. <laughs> um, let me know what's making you smile down below. Let's share the love. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for me. Hopefully no lipstick. No, I think we're good. Um, but having lipstick all over my teeth. Anyways, let's leave you with lots of love. Hope you guys are doing awesome and amazing fun things. And just want to remind you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye guys.